this. This is the 5th of uh, June. We're in Tampa, Florida at the uh, Vincent Corporation. And uh, what we're doing is we've got some press set up here. Old style press. Uh, vapor type, Pyrex windows. A uh, long inlet hopper on a 4 inch press. Some of alfalfa sprouts with grow bib. And uh, this is what they look like. The press logo. One and a half horsepower motor, gearbox, inlet hopper, screen. It's hooked up with steam injection. We won't use that. And uh, discharge foam. And a discharge air cylinder to push in that foam. Okay, we've started feeding material in. We're not getting any cake out yet. So the press isn't even full. There's quite a good, bit of juice yield here. This is looking in the inlet hopper. Let it go a bit. I want to show them the screw. There we can see the screw. Okie doke. Liquid. And Still not getting uh, any cake out. Back. Okay, out comes the cake. And I'm going to actuate the cone. I set it for 30 psi. The first stuff will drip because it hasn't been squeezed, just been conveyed. We're using, of course, a perforated screen here. Hole probably. Uh, Either a 32nd of an inch, maybe 023, which would be 500 microns, some other number. Yeah, 500 microns. Boy, this looks good. Try to get a little higher juice yield. Press cake coming out nicely. If I take some of this press cake and squeeze it, huh? I'm barely got uh, any liquid out. That's good. About as good as you'd want to try and do. Good feeding action. Notice that we're covering the hole in the B plate, and yet we have a little bit of the flighting of the screw exposed at the A plate. Continuous steady operation. No jamming inside. Compared to yesterday, what a, uh, we found a silver bullet.